there is no doubt this is my favorite time of year. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner, here for a very special end of the year video that I did for the first time last year, but I'm going to do it again this year because I had so much fun doing it, and it seems that you guys really liked it. Before I even get into that, I want to say that we are very close to 100,000 subscribers on this channel, which is so far beyond what I ever expected or thought that we would be able to achieve here. So I will say this when we reach 100,000, something will happen. There will be some prizes to give away. There will be fun events that will occur. So I encourage you to share the channel with your friends. If you know people that should subscribe, tell them to. Oh, we are so close. Okay, so last year I decided to come up with a list of my top five favorite running items from 2016 and share them with you. Now this year, I thought rather than choosing five items, I choose 10. Five felt really restrictive, and this year I felt like we had a number of items that were really awesome and deserved to be mentioned on this list. First, I am extremely fortunate to get the opportunity to review hundreds of pieces of gear every year. I get to review them honestly, objectively, everything from shoes, packs, watches, hydration systems, clothing, nutrition, you name it. That being said, while I thoroughly test everything that I receive, not everything gets a review video. So what you end up seeing on this channel reviewed in video form tends to pass the initial test of form, function, relevance, and enjoyability. Basically, do I think you will benefit from the review of this product? The answer is yes. You'll most likely see a review of it. Again, I am beholden to no one, no brand. I do not accept money or bonuses to sway my opinion one way or the other. It's because of the viewers and the fact that this channel is viewer supported that I get to be completely honest, unbiased, and as blatant as I need to be. In the end, you get my truthful, experienced opinion. And that matters to me the most above all. Secondly, a lot of top five, top 10 lists exist elsewhere, whether it's magazines, blogs, other YouTube channels or YouTube videos. And frankly, a lot of those lists are either branded or released way too early in the year. If you're seeing those lists around February or March, how do you know? What you are seeing today are my favorite items from this year that I used, that I tested, that I put out into the field and have had really great experiences with. Some of the items are affordable, some of them are not. But bottom line, they work and I use them. So without any further ado, here are the top 10 Ginger Runner favorites from 2017. Yay. For any additional information about any of the products that I talk about today, I will have links in the description of this video. Those links will either take you to the Amazon affiliate link, Running Warehouse affiliate link, or to the brand's website itself. Those links are a great way to support this channel without spending any additional money. So it helps us out, it helps you out. Win-win. Okay, here we go. Top 10 items in no particular order because that would play favorites. There's just gonna be shoes and gear all over the place. Let's do this. Earlier in 2017, I got to review the Ultra Escalante. It's a zero drop ego midsole material, so it's super cushioned shoe that comes from Ultra. I love this thing for the road. I still have my pair. I still run in it fairly frequently, even wear it casually from time to time. If you're not familiar with Zero Drop, I encourage you to get used to Zero Drop before you even jump into the Escalante, since it is a bit of a reduced running shoe. So you're definitely gonna feel that Zero Drop in this one. But the cushioning is great. It's super fast. It's comfortable. The knitted upper, it's all so good. So the Ultra Escalante makes the list. The Nathan Vapor Crar Waste Pack. Now, I reviewed the backpack earlier this year. I enjoy it. Kim enjoys hers. As far as hydration packs are concerned, it's probably my runner-up from 2017, but a standout product that I find myself using a lot more than I ever thought I'd use was the waste pack from Nathan, the Vapor Crawler waste pack. Tons of pockets, tons of places to stash things like your soft flasks, wallet, keys, phone, extra gels. It's good for race day. It's good for training out there for long runs. If you're not into wearing a backpack, if you need something more than a handheld, this is a great option that's comfortable and adjustable. Never really feels like it got in the way. This was a surprise and that is why it's made the list. The Hoka One One Speed Instinct 2. Now, last year I viewed the Speed Instinct had some great qualities, but major durability issues. The Speed Instinct 2 has seemed to resolve those durability issues. I find myself running in this a lot. And now that the weather's getting sloppy up here in the Pacific Northwest, I find myself running roads and trail in this and it's held up really well. It's an improved version from version one, but it feels very similar to version one. So you're not getting too many changes. It doesn't suffer from the complete overhaul disorder. Still like this shoe, holding up well. Check it out. I'm a fan of this next item, the Solomon Bonatti waterproof jacket. As far as waterproof running jackets are concerned, there are a number of items out there that you can look into purchasing. I've been using the OR Helium jacket for a number of years, but this guy, the Bonatti, while expensive, offers a lot. Hackability, slim fit, real good durability, and most importantly, breathability in addition to the waterproofness. That's been probably the biggest challenge I've had to find in waterproof running jackets. This has been holding up really, really well. Can't recommend it enough. Find myself wearing it a lot more often than I ever thought. And the smell proves that. But just be aware. 
it's expensive. I'm excited to include this on the list, Squirrel's Nut Butter. Now I've been using Body Glide for years. It's just been my go-to anti-chafe cream. And I started to find out more about the Squirrel's Nut Butter stuff, got a chance to start using it, and honestly, it's just great. I've been using it on a lot of my runs. Now that the weather's getting really cold too, it's helped my nethers avoid the chafage. The name is funny, for years I thought it was like literal nut butter. It is not, it is anti-chafe cream. So I encourage you to take a look at it. They have a new vegan version as well, if you're into that, but squirrel's nut butter to protect the places that need protecting. The Saucony Kinvara 8. I have been a fan of the Kinvaras for years, Convara 8, I was worried maybe it would take a step back. It's actually held up okay. Road running wise, I use this thing all the time. I think for us mid packers, us moderate pacers, it's a great shoe because it allows us to go fast if we need to, but also is comfortable for long hauls where we're just kind of plotting along. I will say the durability has been a bit of an issue in this version, but it's held up fine for 350-ish miles. So from 2017, the Convara 8 holding its own, still one of my go-to road shoes. I was hesitant to throw this item on the list because it's a three quarter length type. There's probably a lot of guys out there that would be hesitant to throw this onto their list or even try them on, but honestly, until you know what it's like to run in a three-quarter length type, but I gotta give them some cred, the Nike Power Trail three-quarter length type is pretty awesome. As the temperatures have started to drop here in the Pacific Northwest, not to freezing, but well below warm, I feel that the three-quarter length types are a great alternative. These are great for a couple of reasons. The compression and the ample amount of storage in these things make them a solid go-to for any colder weather, late afternoon, night, even early morning trail runs, regular runs. They're super durable, they look great, they allow you to carry not only your phone, but tons of gear, waterproof pocket. I got two pairs, that's how much I like them. The Nike Power Trail makes the list. The North Face Ventrix Hoodie. This jacket is new for them this fall and winter. I snagged one and have not regretted it. You might even be looking at this going, hey, that looks familiar. It's because I wore it in almost every single Ginger Bits episode from the Where Dreams Go to Die tour. I love this thing. It is not only flexible, insulated, somewhat weather resistant. The thing is just great. It manages to keep you warm in cold weather and keep you moderately warm in warmer temperatures. So it has a great ability to breathe and moderate your temperature. Plus, I just think it looks good. I only wish it would stash into its own pocket. You can get it to fit, but they didn't provide a double zipper to allow you to zip from the outside. Honestly, any jacket these days, I do like it to be packable into itself, especially something like this, which I find myself traveling with a lot. But the North Face Ventrix hoodie is a solid addition to anyone's closet of gear. Look into it. Hoka One One Hupana. And I know now they actually have the Hupana 2 out, which I don't think is much different than the Hupana at all. It's a woven upper, plenty of cushioned midsole. The reason I am choosing this shoe to be on the list is because I love it for its ability to go from casual to run and does well in both departments. I think it's a solid looking shoe if you're just kind of meandering around town. I put tons of miles while traveling this year in this shoe. It was just a great way to look casual, wear it with regular street clothes, and then also transition into a run, no problem. So for that, I included the Hupana on this list. And finally, and I saved this item for last because let's just be honest, it kind of was my favorite shoe from 2017, the Solomon Sense Ride. This trail shoe has been great. Not only does it provide you with a little bit of cushioning, a little bit of responsiveness, plenty of lug grip on the outsole, durability, and a solid fit, it gets you going fast and in a comfortable way. I used this in every trail race that I ran this year. I am a fan of the Sense Ride. I hope it doesn't change. I hope they keep it going. I have found a lot of their trail running shoes to kind of fall by the minimal side or more reduced running shoe. They don't necessarily provide tons of cushion cushion. The Sense Ride was a nice change into that department and was really pleasantly surprised with the ride of the shoe. Solomon Sense Ride makes the list. All right, so that is my top 10 running items from 2017. Of course, there's always a bonus item, and I wanted to throw this in because I think a lot of people might be a fan of this if they don't already know about it. The Katadin B-Free Water Filtration Soft Flask. This is the leader version. I have been carrying this in my pack for longer runs every long run this year. It basically is a collapsible water filtration device. If you find yourself out without water and you need it, you can fill it up with water from any source and it filters through the built-in filter as you drink it. Super easy to use, easy to clean, works in tons of situations and honestly could save your life. I encourage you to grab one, squeeze it down and keep it in your pack for any long runs, long adventures out in the backcountry, or even just a trail run, uh, just keep it with you. Great to have one of these and that's why I included it 
on this list as an honorable mention. So those, my friends, are my top 10 writing items of 2017. I hope you liked the list. Maybe there's some items that were not included on this list that you thought were fantastic from 2017 in the comments of this video. I encourage you to leave those items. Let me know what would be on your top 10 running items for 2017 list. More information and where you can get these products will be in the description of this video. So hop on down there and check those out and make sure you subscribe to this channel. We are on the journey to 100,000 subscribers. We're about that far away. That's pretty awesome. If you have not already, plenty of social media links where you can subscribe to find out more information about the Ginger Runner channel, what's going on here behind the scenes and upcoming projects and as they're released. And if you'd like to support the channel, again, you can click the links in the description or you can go to Patreon, patreon.com slash the Ginger Runner for as little as $1 a month. You can contribute and keep the channel alive. The lights on, the mic's hot, all that good stuff. It's also a pretty awesome community of runners. So check it out. And that, my friends, wraps this up. So I hope you get out there, train hard, race harder, and part of the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you very soon. Happy holidays. Goodbye.